All right, so for this video today, I'm going to show how I tied this geode and I use some of the colors from the Spring Muck Dyes collection that Dharma does. Um, they've got seasonal, special, only for the spring colors that they did. And um, some of them are sold out, but some of them are still available. So I'm just starting here by tying my geodes. The way I start my geodes is I start uh, by grabbing a random area and then I tie it off really tight with sinew. I usually tie it around the area about five, four to five times. Then I use that pipe cleaner right there. That's my uh, sinew puller. Oh, and you can see there I snapped the sinew. So here's one thing that happens if you ever snap your sinew. I suggest fixing it right away. I do not suggest trying to just kind of go with it and then move on. Um, because untying it after that has happened is kind of a nightmare. So um, what I should have done and what I do now is I resolve that issue right there where I try to find the end and start untying it, just that little portion, and um, before I dye it. So you can see here, I just keep pulling random areas and tying it off. I like to scrunch it. It gives kind of a more jagged edge. Another thing I've started doing that's new is I don't cut the sinew between each tie. I have been just doing one continuous loop. It has made untying these so much easier. And I'm not sure why I never thought to do that.
All right, so I finished tying up the shirt and now I'm putting on the dye. This color is Spanish Lavender and I've used this since I did this. I really like putting it on the sinew lines. It gives this really cool purple effect. This next color is Son of a Peach and I just kind of sprinkled it on where I wanted it. That's a novel idea, isn't it? All right, next color up was Himalayan Salt. This is likely one of my favorite colors now. I just love the color that this gives. It's such a pretty like coral pink. And then I did some Wedgwood Blue as well. You can tell those other dyes are so new I hadn't even made a uh, hadn't even made labels for them yet and I realized I forgot soda ash in the um, in the dyes and so I sprinkled it on after here I'm just misting the color I kind of put some water on it until the dye is about halfway through the fabric then I will flip it over and just do it all over again. And then here I am just sprinkling the water yet again, getting it really stuck on that fabric because next I'm gonna put it in a hot pot of water. This is what it looked like after it sat in that hot water for about an hour or longer. And I just started by rinsing it out. My rinse out process is different from item to item, but for this one, I rinsed it out before, and this is cool water. Um, and then I start untying it after I've rinsed out some of the color like this. And here you can see I'm starting to untie it. Um, you'll see how fast it is for me to untie these when I haven't tied each geode one at a time, but I tied them all together without cutting the string between each circle. Here is that area right there where the sinew snapped and then I put it in the hot water and I just could not get it out. I ended up having to cut it which is really dangerous because it's on there so tight but I didn't cut a hole so that's good. And um, here I'm now rinsing it in hot hot water as hot as it can go. I'm going to put some Dawn dish soap on it and just kind of suds it up. 
and rinse this until the water runs clear. And for this one, I boiled it with some Dawn dish soap as well. You don't have to do this, but this really gets that excess dye out of it. So I just put it in a hot pot of water with Dawn dish soap and then put it on my stove and let it boil um, for about five minutes. And here's the final result. I think it turned out so pretty. I am in love with these colors. If you like this tutorial, follow along. I do tutorials like this every Wednesday. Thanks for watching.